Okay, so here's the deal. I dropped my previous master clue on the floor and now it is gone. Yes, the one with high requirements like Bando's Godsword and Playbody and Cloak. Not because I gave up on the challenge to get those items myself, but just think about this, okay? Why complete 500 clue scrolls and still have the same master clue in your bank? Yes, the same one that requires a BGS, the Cloak and the Playbody. Why do that? Why not work on those items and try to get additional master clues, you know? By the time I complete those 500 clues that are needed for a cloak and play body, I will get a few master clues and maybe those clues will be completable. So here we go, I got my first one, actually like two clues in after I dropped it and I already have it. So let's read it, show this to Sherlock. Uh, kinda happy, because I didn't see the, the, the text with the Bandos Godsword anymore. Okay, just got a challenge scroll. I'm not too happy. I'm kind of excited, actually. Let's read this one. Pickpocket and Elf. Okay, when do I kill myself? It's one of my lowest stats. I swear to fucking God, you had to give me one of my lowest stats. At least thieving is fast. What is the fucking Elf requirement? That is level 85. So if I would get to level 80, I would be able to pickpocket it as I could boost it. But it's a new... It kind of... I feel like a noob when you have to boost thieving, you know, it's so fast, just train it. Well, hello there, this is like three days later, and finally I got 80 thieving, and I should be getting to 81 because it's much easier to boost, and thieving is not that hard of a skill, you know, it does give a lot of experience, but I've been training thieving since level 64 to level 80 non-stop, just doing this, nothing else, no farming rents, nothing, just clicking like this, which, look, it, it's not that bad, like, you watch a movie and you just spam a, a button 5 on your keyboard, or you just spam your mouse and that's it. This knight can only go into these two spots so it doesn't leave like it doesn't go here or something. No, just these two spots. You just hop a few worlds because sometimes you cannot find a knight specifically in here. And it never leaves a place because sometimes they like to go away, you know, just teleport right there. This one never does that. Oh, there we go, 85. This was like the third one. So I got pretty lucky on this one. I need to log off though so I don't lose the boost. And the task is completed. Hopefully I will not get something like, you know, crazy like 77 rune crafting. Because I just grinded for like a pretty long period of time. And I don't want to do that again. Follow the bard wants to see you. I swear to god if he's gonna give me a fighter torso that's gonna be a problem. Because then again I'll have to grind for like 2 hours or so. Which is actually it's a very short time but I don't have any pre-made team. So it's gonna take probably like 8 hours or so. A token used to kill mythical beasts in hopes of blade to get the experience. That is the warrior token, isn't it? That's it, you show light up. Yep, that's 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 how easy it was. That's let's see what's the next one. Yes! I love this is a long one, but at least it's not Sherlock. At least something that I will probably be able to complete. I do look these up, I don't solve them myself. Two musical birds dig in front of the spinning light. This is the spinning light and these, uh, I guess, love music. They, they are penguins and I need to collect two more pieces now. And both of them are in wilderness. This was just a strange device clue scroll. I thought it was something else, but let's dig. Found a new clue scroll and this anagram, very good. As long as I don't get Sherlock clue scrolls, I feel happy. Okay, this could even potentially be the reward. But he did not give me a casket, so I still have to do one more step. But it beneath the ground. Oh, it's the same guy. I need to feel the device again. Man, master clues are so easy to complete. If you have, like, the requirements, you get it. You get, like, six steps, and that's it. And this is the casket reward. But I'm gonna teleport from here, as the desert heat may interrupt me opening it. And I want to see the final results. And I'm gonna catch this eclectic, because it may give me a clue. Come on, one more. Nope. All right, let's open this. And I actually got something, which is Ancient Blessing. I think this is the one that you put on arrow slot, isn't it? Uh, but it's nothing good if you check the price check. It says the worth only 290k, so that was my master clue. And you can equip it, it goes in the arrow slot, and I think it's for God Wars. Okay, so just checked wiki, and because we don't have any Zarus minions in God Wars, it does not protect you against anything. If it was a Zami one instead of Ancient one, it would protect me, but it still gives plus one prayer bonus. That is an ammo slot, so a very good item, actually. 
All right, guys, that's going to be all for today. It took me really long to get that thieving level because I was kind of lazy. It's very click intense, so I was delaying it. I was playing like two, three hours and then taking a break for five hours and coming back for two hours. So it took me a really long time. That's why it's only one clue scroll. Maybe in the next video is going to be multiple ones or so because I still want to complete them. I still love opening them because the rewards are quite new. Thank you very much for watching, though. I'll see you next time. Bye.